So when I went into the gym, I put my gym bag down and I immediately attacked the weights. We started out by doing maybe three, four, five minutes of ab work in the beginning to warm up and then we got right into it or we go right into the, the whole thing. Warm up set, then the next weight up, next weight up, boom, boom, all the way to the top and you just can't do it. And supersetting, everything was always supersetting, supersetting, supersetting and the three pump sets and four sets in a row, five sets in a row. So it really it changed in what exercise we did, but it was always all out and like I said, the training partner was always responsible, challenge you at all times. So it was the thing. I challenged my training partners, if it was Frank Zane, if it was Dave Draper, whoever the training partner was in any given moment, we challenged each other kind of in a fun way, but I mean, there was challenge just so that you don't slack off, so you don't give yourself a break. I think the biggest mistake is that you go to the gym and you go through the motion, but you don't really have your mind inside the muscle. So when you do a bicep curl, I can't just stand there like this yeah, you can. I've seen the guys training with me also four hours a day, five hours a day, but they look like shit. And why did they look like shit? It's because they didn't concentrate. They did the same exercise, but they went, they stood like this and then they looked sideways. Kind of like they were bored. I think chin-ups, when you weigh 240 pounds, you ought to have the strength of a 240 pound guy, right? And if you weigh 180 like Franco, of course he did chin-ups easier, but he was pound for pound stronger than me. So that's why it was easier for him. He put around his waist sometimes a 45 pound plate and he did chin-ups like nothing. You know, and I put around my waist 20 pounds and I was struggling with the 20 pound. We did it because it was the only way to really open up those wings, the shoulder blades and the lats and really create the width. Because lats is not for thickness of the back. Let's not fool ourselves here. It is all for width. I mean, as you remember Steve Reeves, he did a lot of chin-ups and a lot of pull-downs and he got this enormous wide back, but he didn't have much thickness because he was not a big believer in rowing. So the rowing exercise, if it's T-bar rowing or one-arm rowing or wide grip rowing with a barbell, all those exercises are specifically for the thickness of the back. And then you can direct it if it should be lower, it should be higher, it should be more in the center, more in the outside, and all of those things depending what exercise you do. Remember that after you do the bench press, you do the incline press and the dumbbell, Increment press and the flies with the dumbbells and all this stuff. Now you still have to do the dips for the lower pectoral muscle. Then you have to do the, the exercise for the striation. So now you do cable crosses in front. So now you're already at 30 sets, right? And then you, you haven't even talked about, it, about the pullover, which was my, as you remember, we talked about that. Wow. My favorite exercise to lie across the bench and to have a heavy dumbbell, like a 100, 120 pound dumbbell, and to do like 15 reps of that get great serratus to expand your rib cage and all those things. I would do a barbell curl with an easy curl bar. I would say that's kind of like the most basic exercise. I think it's something that everyone would grow if they would do a barbell curl that is, you know, done in the beginning very strict. And then when it gets heavier, a little cheating. And then when it gets really heavy, more cheating. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. My favorite was a triceps extension with a cable, you know, just pressing down. That one worked for me the best, but I have to say that people shouldn't really pay much attention to that because everyone has a different kind of a build. There's people that are getting a much better triceps exercise if they do one-arm triceps, like Frank Zane was one of them, they did one-arm triceps extensions behind the neck and he pumped up like crazy with that exercise. To me, it was a good exercise, but not the best exercise. To me, the regular push down on the cable was a much better exercise, a much more effective exercise.